good morning and welcome. Someone's really excited. Do you know why? Do you know why? It's only an electric bike. It's only an electric bike. This one's special. What I tend to do when we're reviewing electric bikes, I do like it when we get sent one which is a bit different to what we've done in the past. And this one is, it's another um, fat tired step through fat bike. But this one has smaller wheels, so I think this will be better for, for a lot of people. If you remember the last one with fat tyres I reviewed, the tyres were actually bigger than as motorhome tyres. It wasn't practical for women, so to say, was it? This is more for people who have mobility <laughs> issues and stuff. Yeah. I think it'll be perfect for a lot of people. And when the company got in touch, I was just sat there minding my own business with my beautiful, have a good look at them darlings, with my beautiful orange trainers on and they sent me a picture of it boom same color as my trainers I, thought, <laughs> I have to get the orange one my girlfriend Mazzy what did you say don't get, get the, the orange. blue one get the blue one get the blue one I says all right then love and I secretly ordered the orange one without her you knowing did cheeky so, we've got an orange bike with orange shoes an orangey yellow it up everything's going to plan do you know how many colors different colors it comes in I think I don't, off the top of my head, I'll look at that later. Yep. Uh, definitely blue, maybe, I don't know, don't know. So, this is the Cy Russia. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Cy Russia is the company, and it's called a Komoda. Now, Komoda, if you just show them the word here, Mazza, without <coughs> showing any addresses or anything, uh, that's how the, the company are calling it. It's actually, there's a Spanish word for Komoda. A Spanish word which is commoda spelt differently, which means comfort. Oh. So it actually means comfort. Right, no more talking at the moment. I'm just going to rip this thing out and build it. <laughs> so I just want to see the colour orange. <laughs> Let's get first peaks then. Now, because I've built a couple of bikes recently, I'm hoping I won't have any trouble with this one because I'm not a bike expert, but I know a good product when I see one. Ooh. Look not, at the tyres on that. Not seeing a lot, yeah. Look at the tyre, Mazzy. Oh my gosh! Four inch tyres. Wow, <laughs> that's massive. <laughs> gosh. Oh, look at the colour, Mazzy, look at the colour. I can't see. I can just see a bit on the rim, it's that colour, it's that colour. Yeah. <clears throat> Try and get this wheel off. Hey, you've got to time yourself. Time. It actually takes 40 minutes, so it'll take me 40 minutes. I read it in the instructions. Oh, I thought you said 20. No, it takes 40 minutes to build. Can I get this out? Is that fatter? No, it's same. It's, it's four the same. Inch, same width. Right. right. I think what you're going to have to do... Yep. You just put it down and let me get this thing out. Because I've got a lot of unclipping of uh, cable ties to do. First look at the colour, Mazzy. Are you ready? Yeah, go on you. Okay. <laughs> How beautiful is that? Oh, you know what? It's more special though than the colour. It's already got the reflectors on. So I don't have to do that wrong because I normally do. Yeah. That is That is stunning. wicked. Really like that. Yeah, I like that. That's a better, much better size for a yeah. fat tyre. Yeah. Very right. posh. Look at this. I like it. I thought it was going to be too in your face, but it's not. That's actually really smart. That is beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's not the orange colour I expected. It's like a metallic-y orange. It's like a pearl, pearl-like, pearly kind of, isn't it? I don't know what pearly means, Mazzy. If I show you, some people will know what I mean. Right. Let me get the rest of the wrappers off and then we'll start building it. This is beautiful. So step one, all packaging off in five and a half minutes. Now on the last bike I reviewed, it took about half an hour, so that's a great start. Um, let's have a look at the toolkit, Mazzy. See what we're getting here. Okay, proper alum set. Cool. There's your throttle, which I didn't know. I still don't fully understand the legal requirements in England. I'm told you're not allowed to have this on in England. 
um, so that we won't be putting on but they do supply it for if you want to ride it anywhere else two pedals and unlike any other we've ever had you actually get a pump to blow oh, the tires yeah. up that's unusual proper spanner you know these tools <laughs> yeah they're going to be good tools for everything aren't they well, so this is going to be a power bank to charge it up do the tires need pumping they do yeah and it says stickers as well so what stickers battery manual oh we've got instructions like idiot proof oh, ones oh they're cool instructions that's better that's what yes. you need instead of trying to look online on how to build something it's there for you <laughs> mazzy can't go wrong i thought you got stickers i'm not seeing stickers never mind right let's start building what's your in first impressions mazzy yeah smart um the color isn't in your face like i thought it might have been the first things i'm noticing this is a very wide back yeah thing here very big and the seat itself that is a really comfy looking yeah, gel, it's very, gel seat it's very squishy squishy isn't it very nice and it's again, definitely got quality hasn't it yeah again noticing things like the lcd screen is already on for you yeah which is handy the um, reflectors are already on for you yeah the backlight is already on for you so it's it's going to be a lot easier to build is this one than previous ones it's well smart even like this i don't know what this is but that looks smart doesn't it i'll be moving into all that later in the specs and stuff this is a dual suspension front and rear suspension which is i've not had that on any of the bikes we've had before it's normally just front suspension if you're lucky but this is both right i believe all i have to do is put a wheel on put the handlebars on put the seat up and we're ready to go so the first thing it's saying to do is i believe undo these two and undo this one and turn this around somehow i'm not sure how but hey let's undo them because i can only see that it'll go up oh no maybe it's only meant to go up is it no it says 180 degrees spinning round but how's that going to spin round maybe you need to undo this and actually turn it don't know so i've loosened them i've loosened this one and i've loosened these two here and it does move so put that back that way and tighten that one i'm guessing we can get the handlebars on soon i suppose technically it could have came with it facing that way though couldn't it it's simply for packaging reasons i think because the headlight itself is on the wrong yes. way around yeah well, it does say in the instructions i think you take it off and just turn it around the other way so i think it's just to protect them in packaging just noticed as dan was doing up his nuts and bolts he pushed down on the suspension by accident check this out look that is cool that's going to be a bouncy smooth ride it's going to be lovely isn't it yeah so next step just take these four out of here and slide the handlebars in and put these back on this is quite easy so far i'm looking forward to getting the front wheel on because it keeps falling over yeah <laughs> just trying to show you um how easy these instructions are dan's actually already done all this and now he's up to the handlebars and he's just got these few left to do and then congratulations you've made it now enjoy your new crusher bike it's not a crusher Sai Russia. Yeah. I do like the name Crusher. I think Crusher would have been cool for that. Again, something else I really like about it is this little target here. So you can know where the center line is. Just get that right in the middle. So I've lined that up, just tightening these back up. And then hopefully we can get the front wheel on and we can go. We can go. I'll tell you what, they've thought of everything at this company. So inside the brake caliper, if that's what it's called, uh, was a little plastic thing here just to protect it. Taking that out, put the wheel on, 
and then we've got a washer and a nut on each side <laughs> we're nearly ready to go Mazzy so the next step it's saying sort the light and mudguard bit out but I'm going to go with the pedals because it's upside down and it's ready so this is the left pedal oops this way sorry so we're just going to tighten that up and then get the uh, spanner in there to make sure it's tight same with this side we're nearly ready to go Mazzy how long's on the clock um 33 minutes and 17 seconds wow when they said 40 minutes they're not far off yeah they? and you haven't rushed have you no no 39 27 seconds 39 minutes 20 nine seconds wow they know what they're talking about don't they yeah 40 minutes to build one of these or just under if you're a professional like me <laughs> um, well done babe all i've got to do now is pump up the tires put a bit yeah. more in there but yeah very 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 impressed so i just need to pump up the tires it actually tells you what the psi is on the tires which is 20 psi I'm not going to be using the pump which comes with it, but that's fantastic because any other we've had has not come with a pump. Um, I've got me, <laughs> my special little thing to do with my own compressor. So let's get these pumped up and away we go. One bike, fully built, in under 40 minutes. Now you want to know all the specs about it, don't you? How beautiful it is, what it does, how... Apart from, does it really need any specs? Look at it. It yeah. speaks for itself. Doesn't matter if it can do nothing. It is beautiful. It's a, it's a nice ornament. <laughs> that, is the most, that is the most beautiful bike I have ever seen. And I'm not just saying that. It really is special. Right ideal for shorter riders and those with mobility limitations oh okay because it has got shorter wheels yes which i'll get onto and it is step through look you hardly yeah. have to lift your leg up to get in it and the seat is obviously adjustable um right i was doing this wrong on the last bike apparently you meant to have your leg fully up like that and now i need to hire the seat to there it's not from the floor. Ah. The amount of people. I knew that. that looked small. <laughs> so let's get it up a bit more. I like it, Lord. Wow, well, like that's high. I do like my feet on the floor. Yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah. But my feet don't only just touch the floor. I don't like that. I suppose it's preference, isn't it? But apparently, it's better for your legs if you have the seat right oh okay you can you can do your knees damage and stuff so i've got that set right now um so yeah for people with limitations it's a lot better um than the ones which aren't step through and the ones which have bigger tires so the battery itself 48 volt battery 672 watt hours which is detachable so that comes out perfect take yeah. it indoors to charge it up overnight i've still got a bit of uh, the cellophane on there i couldn't <laughs> get it off earlier there let's get that off beautiful 
that's where your weight is you see in the battery and in the gears at the back so it is quite an hefty bike right to put it back in I need to turn that key that's it what's next get my notes back out maximum load 23 and a half stones that's plenty that's a good weight really isn't it there isn't many people over that weight who are going to be wanting to ride a bike is there yeah so that's very very good um range 50 miles mm. 50 miles mm. off one charge incredibly good that's actually good yeah rider height five foot one to six foot two wow there's not many people under five foot one who is going to want to ride one either you've got to be 14 i believe remember yeah so, yeah you know there isn't many Lower. I'm on the smaller side of 5'2", five 5'1", two, five so... There aren't many people smaller than you who are going to want to ride something like this. <laughs> two year warranty. Full front and rear suspension. Now, anyone I've ever seen before, as I've said earlier, I think I said earlier, front suspension, yeah, but rear suspension? Seriously? Front and rear? That's abnorm abnormal. Um, next, we have got a colour LCD screen. Let me just turn that on. It's very sunny today, it's it not going to show very well. It? Yeah. <laughs> but a colour LCD screen, 3.7 inch. Yeah, I don't think we've had a colour one before. No, we haven't. The tyres are 20 inches by 4 inches thick. Yeah. Seven gears Shimano, which is standard nowadays, it seems to be in the. Uh, electric bikes so there's your shimano gears beautiful and here is your gear stick which is the same as on the last one we reviewed as well should take that off really so i can see it better there we are um and dual hydraulic disc brakes right that is all i've got to say about it because i've just been invited out for a ride yay quickly um, do the horn though this horn oh, is so horn. cute. <laughs> it's so that. cute. And the lights are quite good as well, aren't the lights, they? Are they They're on? bright. Let me turn them on. There we go. That is incredible. Yeah, it's not really showing up on camera. That is a beautiful light. And I've got a nice front one as well. No indicators for what I can't can see. No. So yeah, as friend Bob's here at the moment, he's just said, would you like me to follow you around and I can get some shots of you riding it? So that would be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun, boys. <laughs> be safe. Okay. So I'm just in the first level now of five. Good morning. Now this is one thing I don't mind about with fat tyres I don't mind riding on uh, gravel like this I'm a bit weary on any others because as I've told you in the past I've actually popped a tyre on gravel like this before but you're not going to have that problem with fat tyres now I have also got the um, the suspension fully open because this is quite a bumpy road on it so I'm going to give it a bit now let's go up to number four whoa it's taken off <laughs> five god that is fast that just took off straight away and we're only in first gear there let me get it the gears up up to seventh gear this thing is flying that is beautiful absolutely beautiful and the brakes themselves, the brakes themselves look really, um, you feel like you're in control. You know, in some of them, they feel a bit stiff. These are just perfect. Oh, this is smooth. This is really smooth. Yeah, limited to 15 miles per hour. Um, they do actually say on the website, it does come with the, you know, the booster, what would you call it, Bob? The booster <laughs> throttle button? Yeah. Uh, you do get that, that's, oh, yeah, in the, kit, that's in the box, so I could attach that if wanted to, but... I'm, I'm just using the throttle here, so... 
Right. Apparently not legal in England to use that thing no, which I've been given up with it. <laughs> um, on top of that, there are videos showing you how you can actually get the maximum performance out of these things, which is completely illegal in England, but it can be done. If you wanted to go to America, for example, and you want to do that, you do that. But honestly, 15 miles an hour is fast enough for me. It always has been. Yeah, this is a smooth, nice ride. What do you think of this, Bob? I like the fact the wheels are so small. Yeah. I feel in control. <laughs> and this is my favourite bit. Pulling out of junctions, you just take off on these. It's going back to campsite now. I'll be honest, I haven't floored it. I don't think I got up to 15 miles an hour, but I wanted Bob to get some shots of me on it, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, very, very smooth. The uh, sponge handlebars are very nice as well. Very comfortable. The seat is very comfortable because it's a gel seat. More comfortable than the last one I rode on. So I've got a bit of a bony bum, so I do tend to uh, struggle on saddles normally, but no, this is good quite funny really because it is only pedal assisted but all you have to do is like two turns on the pedals and then just stop pedaling and you just keep going for ages it is 250 watts is this um, if you add it at full capacity if you you know if you illegally changed it here in the UK I think it goes up to a thousand watts so it is a powerful machine um, But yeah, very impressed. Right, what I'm going to do now is just go through a few bumps, see if it shows a suspension on Bob's camera there. Oh, I've made all the tyres mucky. Didn't want to do that. Give them a little clean. From everything, from from the packaging, from the fact a lot of lights and things are on it right from the beginning, um, there's hardly any building involved. This has to be my favourite so far. The company just seem quite as if they've got everything catered for. It is just gliding through this uh, gravel. It's quite thick in places, but it is just gliding through it. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very impressed. So that is the Cy Russia Komoda. Absolutely incredible. Best bike I've ever been on. I know I've said that before on bikes, but they seem to be getting better and better and better. I just love the style of it. I love the size of it. I love the size of the wheels. Fat wheels, but small. Really loving that. If you're interested, uh, I'll put a link in the description. There's probably going to be a discount code as well So make sure you check out that description get yourselves over there buy one of these do yourself a favor What do you think Mazzy? Brilliant. Yeah Impressive. Really nice. Yeah. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. You all have a wonderful evening. Bye. Bye, bye.